Eid al-Fitr, the Muslim holiday marking the end of the fasting month of Ramadan. Difficult conditions to celebrate in the Gaza Strip, where Palestinian families are crammed into a UN school looking after the displaced. More than a thousand Palestinians and more than 40 Israelis have been killed since the conflict began three weeks ago. A ceasefire over the weekend was interrupted on Sunday when the militant wing of Hamas fired rockets into Israel. Here, Israeli soldiers can be seen retaliating. Today, in the courtyard of the UN school, people pray. Abu Sabah Jalis is from Shai Jaya, which is the neighborhood that was flattened by Israeli strikes last week. Well, elsewhere in a cemetery in Gaza City, those coming to pay their respects on Monday found many graves damaged by recent airstrikes. One body even had to be reburied. Such incidents are often referred to as collateral damage, yet Israeli Defense Forces on Sunday released footage of what they say is a Hamas terrorist firing a rocket from a cemetery. The Wall Street Journal cannot confirm the cemetery is the same site. Late on Sunday night, Israel said it would be easing up its air, sea and land attacks on Gaza as Muslims celebrate Eid al-Fitr but the military say they will strike back if militants attack.